I woke up. I I woke up one morning. I woke up one morning after showering. I walked out into the hall by the closet, the one that housed the AC units and vents, and I heard this little rumble, like a small twiddling through some plastic bags, the ones that I had kept some nails in and staples for lining my telephone ethernet. It was a possum, and he was still alive, his nose twitching, he or she, it. It was still a baby. It must have fell through the gap in the ceiling, the ventilation duct. This is uh, a, a, a closet. It was leading to a, a vent out of the roof. He was alone. There was no food. There was no water. Scared, I'm sure. Or perfectly content. I'm no possum. So it was a little hard to empathize with this circumstance of being there all alone, no home or mother, or some utility closet in, in a tool bag. In this case, it was a pet bag being used as a tool bag. Cold. I called the maintenance guy in our complex and reported I had a loose varmint in my household. I mean, I meant no harm. My cats were flipping out, trying to claw under the vents. They were pawing at the door and chipping away at the wood, trying to get at it, sniffing, hissing, investigating, prowling, hunting, the loneliness that wept on the other side of the closet. That's what cats do when they're approached with a little caged animal on the other side. They were hunting the loneliness that wept on the other side of the door, the innocence, the young life. The very next day, the little intruder was gone, supposedly taken away and caged. And the maintenance people were going to release it into the wild. And Kenny, the maintenance manager, he told me what happened. Well, now this is weird. The next week, get this, the next week I found another possum. He's same size, same nose, identical in nature, but dead, I think. I'm no possum, but I do believe they are known to play dead in self-defense. But this one wasn't moving his nose like last time. Smell dead. Surely it had found its way or fell through a gap and got trapped, the same gap, and got trapped, and that was supposed to be repaired in the first place in the utility closet. It must have fell down searching, maybe smelled its mother or brother or sister or twin brother or twin sister or whoever was first discovered in the cage in the beginning and I guess released into the wild. I figured the dead possum must have starved to death. There was no food, no water, and that's what happens to life when trapped in a utility closet and shut off from the world behind a closet for too long. At least to this little guy. Now this moment of life, abandoned, gone, I guess, forgotten. Or maybe Kenny killed the initial possum and planted it there to be cruel, and he never released it. <laughs> nah, nah, I don't, I don't know. Maybe not. Now, these are the things that I think of now. I have to pick apart like a detective and analyze to keep me away from the image of her, to stop me from remembering. Something to focus.